Alright, hello people. Uh, so, I, I play Smite primarily on the PC. Have about 200 hours logged in, level 30, play ranked matches. Um, so, you know, I know how the game works and how to play. I understand MOBAs are pretty new to uh, probably a lot of PS4 players. They see Smite is free, they want to give it a shot, and that's cool. I like to see the community grow. Um, but it's very frustrating playing with all these new people because they don't know uh, the mechanics or exactly what they're doing. And that's fine. I mean, everyone's going to be uh, learning here. But what they should do is, you know, maybe educate themselves. Um, go on some forums, watch a couple videos of, uh, you know, people how to play. Um, you know, the main the main thing that I see that stinks is no one has communication skills. I'm sure a lot of people have a microphone with the PS4. This game is a team game. Um, it's definitely about communication. Um, you know, and picking the right team comp. Having your teams play well off each other with the abilities and you know knowing what god does what and right here i did what i could and this thor kills me terrible and then he winds up dying uh but anyway so the main thing is you know don't pick gods primarily just because you like them but make sure you're picking the gods that are for the roles that are needed for the team you know when you play conquest it's five people there's five different roles unless you're the best at, say, Thor, and there's already a jungler uh, on our team, you know, don't pick Thor just because you like him. Um, you know, typically, when you look at the map layout, the short lane or the two towers are closest to each other. That's the solo lane. You want to pick a warrior. You want to pick someone like um, Ravana, or you want to pick someone like uh, Hercules, or you want to pick someone like Amaterasu. You want to pick a warrior for the solo lane. The middle lane, obviously the mid lane, is usually where the mage goes. So you usually see your mage go in the middle lane, and they're by themselves. The, um, and they can handle the lane by themselves. The uh, duo lane, which is the lane where the towers are furthest apart, are usually for your support, which I am, Ymir in this case, and uh, your ADC, uh, which is uh, everyone's favorite characters, you know, your Neath, your Artemis, all the people who have bows. Um, so that's basically what you should just keep in mind when you're playing Smite. Um, it's all about farming, gaining experience. Farming, you know, means killing the minions, getting experience, leveling up, and buying the right items. Now, buying the right items is a difficult thing to do until you're more familiar with what they do. There's a million items. It's uh, overwhelming at first, but the more you play the game, the more you get used to it, and you know what items go well with your particular god based off their passives, based off their abilities. And then back to farming, you know, just for example, the middle lane should get the red buff in the beginning of the game. The mage in the middle needs that extra power spike, um, so you should let the mage get it. The blue buff, or the mana buff, should be for the solo laner. They are fighting by themselves, they they are typically uh, early game mana hungry gods, uh, so they need that blue buff. The duo lane, because there's two of you, you don't get anything. Just go for the experience camps. Go and kill the gargoyle thingies, and then go and kill the uh, pigs, and get experience and head to lane. And that's pretty much it. You know, try to uh, stick to... Uh, that, you know, just make sure you're not, uh, just picking gods for the heck of it. Um, try to, you know, see what your team needs. Call the roles out in the beginning of the match, and for God's sake, learn to talk or communicate. Uh, letting someone know that someone in the right lane left and they're going to mid to gank, they need to know that, say, enemy missing. Um, it's just, uh, it's frustrating to play with all these new players, uh, and me as a Ymir and me as a tank um, should not be the highest level on my team, should not be the um, 
the uh, damage uh, carry on the team and should not uh, have to do all these things. Uh, but you know, when you're playing with a lot of novices, it's tough. You have to, you're spread thin. I have to go all over the map. I have to do a lot of things. So uh, it's just again, it's tough uh, to uh, do everything with all these new players who just want to be gods because they like them instead of. Uh, picking, you know, what the team needs. And Smite, which is generous, at least for free, gives you gods in each role, even if you didn't buy the god pack. So, again, you might not like the god, but, you know, you should pick, again, what the team needs. Uh, it's starting to get very frustrating when you have three junglers on a team, um, you know, and two mages, or you have no warriors on the team or you know people are just picking things just to pick them and um it's getting quite frustrating so uh ps4 smite community please please learn how to play the game uh it makes the game much more fun much more interesting and understand the mechanics there's so many videos out there on youtube with uh, professional players playing and you know pretty damn good players posted videos and have twitch streams and uh you know, just follow along and uh, watch a few matches. Uh, they, you know, usually all these videos, they explain very well um, what the items do, um, you know, how they affect uh, the battle. I mean, there's just so much, so much good information out there. If you want to learn how to uh, make good builds, there's a website called Smite Junkies, and uh, it's all professional players. And, uh, you know, they, they put their builds on there, um, so it's good to just uh, check that out. And, um, you know, once, once people learn how to play more, the game's going to be a whole lot more fun for everyone. So, uh, you can comment, leave me a comment, I'm pretty decent at Smite. Uh, if you want to ask me a question, go for it. Uh, and uh, see you on the battlefield. Later.